Hey everybody, welcome to Camping with Steve. Parked on the side of the road in a residential neighborhood. It's a new area. There's a whole subdivision going in right in behind us there. And down there, there's an abandoned house. You know what that means. Big shout out to Mitch for suggesting this place. I never would have been able to find this without that tip, so thank you very much. That stuff, invasive. We've got it at the acreage. Scentless chamomile, it's known as. And it's not daisies. It spreads everywhere. Oh, nice to have the backpack off. So I'll explain a little bit of the legal stuff about this. This is city parkland. It used to be somebody's place, but as the city gets bigger, they buy these tracts of farmland, maybe what was a recreational cabin here. And the city usually rips these things down so that nobody wrecks them um, or hurts themselves. And there is a lot, a lot here to hurt myself with. There's a bunch of junk here, so gotta be really careful. I see there's a, a nice little bench there, but gonna hang up my glasses so I don't forget them in the morning let's check this place out seems lost all of its shingles pretty much Scared a little duck there. The duck scared me too. Hmm. I don't crawl underneath of old buildings that are held up by bricks. Oh yeah. So the only way up there is to climb on top of this thing. What's in here? More basements, I think. shut. Ooh. Won't be doing that. Um, Got to find a way up here. It's, you know, it's about eye level and I can't lift myself up that high. Some nails all over the place. This is very dangerous. Don't do this. Um, beautiful view, but these are the places that can have, you know, open wells and stuff. So don't do what Steve does. Parts of the floor concern me. Uh, the only one real bad spot there looks like it was kind of carved out on purpose. The uh, little fireplace is still holding in here. Um, there wasn't much to this. Uh, there's a little breaker there, so they had power. It's like a little bathroom over there too. This might have been the site of a very bizarre proposal. There was a bathroom here, probably in there, at least a toilet anyway. Wow. Yeah, 
Now, if I can find a broom, we might be in business. Thankfully, there's no rats in Alberta because that's the first thing that you'd suspect looking at a place like this. But I don't even see any mouse droppings or anything. So I think inside's probably okay. I just don't want to haul up the big backpack and everything up here. I can see how some people would find this creepy, um, but abandoned buildings don't bother me much. Uh, I'm more worried about security guards, police, park rangers, bears, um, uh, ghosts and stuff, really, I'm not that concerned about. So, uh, it is strange to think about, though, you know, people having vacations here or something, or maybe even living here. Uh, beautiful view, great location, close to the city, but uh, that's, uh, it's always cool finding these things. Let's go walk around a little bit. I'm just gonna pull these out. They're stressing me out a little bit. I saw this little chair thing and I thought, oh good. But if I break the dollar store chairs, I'm gonna destroy that one. Um, people do come out here. Insure. Very strange things to find around here. I don't have garbage bags with me. I normally like to clean up garbage, but I know that road there goes right up top. And there's gonna be a crew down here ripping this out with dumpsters. They're gonna clean it all up. So this is probably not gonna be here next year. It's more of the city over there across this lake. Um, that part is a provincial park. This part is city parkland. And let's see if I can get a nice view of the urban sprawl. Okay, somebody's totally coming down the trail. Wonder when they're gonna tear this thing down. Yeah. A lot worse. There's a lot more people coming in here. Yeah. Yeah, I've just been trying to I try to film and you know, take photos of this type of stuff. Yeah. And go camping in these places too. I left my backpack there, but I'm just gonna act like I'm taking some pictures. He's not gonna take my backpack, I don't think. More debris out here. Oh. That looks like an old dock. With the obvious possibility of joggers coming running down like just happened and people coming to tag the building, I am expecting a few more people to come by tonight. So I'm just kind of laying low. Backpack is right there and it'll all stay in the backpack until later. Um, do they care? No, probably not. Would it be embarrassing if I'm sitting here with a little bed set up uh, and a sleeping bag out? Oh yeah. Um, and we don't need people that live in the area to start getting worried that somebody's moving into the shack down the hill from their nice house. So uh, that's the plan. And it's a beautiful night. It's wonderful weather today. I don't mind just hanging out uh, with you guys and enjoying the nature. So I got a better view than you do. Um, I got this. Oh, yeah. Autumn really kicked in pretty quickly around here. When I left the East Coast, uh, all the leaves were still green. Then I kind of, as I drove across Canada, uh, we got here and then there's like nothing, nothing left. Uh, but uh, beautiful. I love the smell of the fall, the leaves. It's going to be a crisp morning, I think. But I got to throw the backpack around this corner here uh, in case somebody else comes jogging down the road. In behind the house, it looks like they built a little staircase. The power and telephone came in here and went right down the hill to the shack. Can't even see it from here, actually.
I would not want to climb those stairs if there was a little water on these leaves, I'll tell you that. All right. My thirst for exploring has been quenched. Now I'll have to quench a different thirst. Thank goodness for this cinder block. I've been looking around all day for one of those folding dollar store tripod chairs, the one I broke at McDonald's drive-thru. And I can't find them. I think they might be a seasonal thing, so I gotta check a few more stores. But meantime, uh, switching it up a little bit today, Canadian Club with ginger ale. Premixed and ready to go. A nice autumn sipping cocktail. Oh, that warms the soul. It's really starting to cool down here. Um, it was unseasonably warm today for this area, this time of year. 21 Celsius, which in Fahrenheit is about 70. Tonight it cools off to 5 Celsius, so 41 Fahrenheit. And I've got more than just this to wear, but I didn't want to wear it uh, on the way down. It was very warm. Uh, just with what I have on, I was sweating like a prison snitch on the way down here. So. I've got some thermal long john underwear and long sleeve shirt thing I can put on. And if I get out of the wind and crawl into this thing, I'm still <laughs> debating on if I want to sleep inside that building tonight. But I think I'll, I'll be warm. I'll be cozy enough. check my radar it looks like there's a bit of a storm rolling in adds to some excitement here Much better. Yeah. I think that settles it. I'm gonna sleep in here tonight. Oh, better get a light on. I'm gonna trip on something for sure. I'm gonna set this cot up so I have somewhere to sit that's not the floor. I'm gonna pick a spot where there's uh, a roof. And up there, there's there's a few parts that are missing, so kind of in here looks like the least to try and clean up. I really want to be close to the exit and or the windows, because a risk I just realized that I hadn't been thinking about is if some troublemakers or vandals come down and throw some Molotov cocktails at this place. Like, uh, I'll be on, I'll be on guard tonight. Any sound, uh, I'll be ready to jump out the window, so to speak. Oh, good. Huh, better than the floor. Definitely one of the upsides of the stormy weather is that nobody's going to be walking their dogs or hiking or jogging right now. It's dark, stormy, imposing, and formidable. Somebody is, somebody is coming down here. Good thing they didn't crawl in here. I would have really scared them.
this place was built with real two by fours, actually dimensionally two inches by four inches. They don't make it like that anymore. Stuff. It's like they were using uh, wax paper for vapor barrier. Um, at least it's free of asbestos, I hope. Time to cook some grilled cheese. And I'm not talking processed cheddar. I mean like uh, aged cheddar, smoked Gouda, and Swiss. Fire is crackling our way in the background and not right in our ears. So, little pan and uh, three types of cheese. Can't believe the bread survived the trip out here. Uh, stuffed in the backpack, but uh, sourdough loaf worked out really good. cheese in an abandoned house in the middle of nowhere. It was a great night. Um, built a fire. Good morning. I'm pretty sure I heard somebody outside, so I'm gonna pack up. risks with camping somewhere you probably shouldn't be. It was a fine night. Thank you, abandoned house. Let's get out of here. I see something. Under this little guy, there's like a piece of pipe, like corrugated culvert stuff. And I bet you this is covering up old wells. It's my guess. Success. I think that was the last warm day of the year. Uh, it's supposed to cool off right away. Possibly even snow. I know. But, um, gotta decide where I'm going from here. I wanna do a couple of videos in the cold weather, but I don't wanna stay here all winter. Um, I wanna go somewhere warmer, as I usually do. But, uh, anyway, 
I'll figure that out. Uh, thanks guys for watching. Please consider subscribing if you like this nonsense. And uh, try to keep them coming as regularly as possible. Cheers guys, we'll see you real soon.